Hi, it's uh, Craig Edmonds here. Um, I just wanted to give you a demonstration of a multi-language translation system that we've created uh, for one of our clients. Um, and basically it's using machine translation by Google. So basically what it means is, is if um, the client wants to have multiple lingual website or application online um, but doesn't want to have the, the full expense of um, having everything translated, well initially they would get a machine translation done and then they would get a, um, a proofreader to proofread everything. So what I'm going to demonstrate now though is the, the guts of how the translation works. So as you can see in the middle of the screen here we've got languages supported. So currently we have English, Spanish, German, Italian, French, Russian, Thai, Portuguese and Polish. We could, we could add 10, 20 more languages to this list um, without any problems. Okay. Now in this column here it says records. Now currently um, this, the English version of the site has 70 records. That means that 70 phrases, individual, individual texts or phrases uh, that are being used. And if we just click on that we can see it'll bring up a list of all the words, all the text that's being used. So login, logged in as, old phone disabled immediately, etc., etc. Um, and this will, this this page here will give us a very very quick overview of how much text there, how much English text there is in the database. Um, you know, to give the client an idea of the you know the cost uh, or the or the value of the words they have because each whenever a translator uh, you know, uh, calculates a project, they will look at the total word count and then multiply that by the amount uh, per word, which is usually around about five, ten cents or pence each. Um, so if you've got a database of 10,000 words, you, you can start to see the value of the system. Okay, so let's look at, let's look at, um, you know, one of the texts here. Um, here are prime examples of how a cell phone theft can affect life. So we're going to click on that and that page that I've just jumped to here, that's showing me the English text here. So, I, you know, we could go in and we can edit this, uh, we can add more text, take text off, rephrase it, whatever. And the top section here, you can see there's a tick in this column here and a cross. A tick indicates that a translation exists, so obviously English is here. Then we've got Spanish, nothing exists, German, nothing exists. So, so everywhere there's a cross, um, we're invited to create a translation. Okay, and I'll show you that in a second. But first, we're just going to scroll down a bit. Uh, these, the, you know, th these, this, this section here where it says which web pages will this text appear on. You know, we can assign um, different pages that it, that this text might just appear on, and then that individual page, when it's loaded on the website, will look, will look in the database of translations and pull the text out automatically. Okay. So we're not, we're not going to worry about that just now, but we're going to go up and we're going to make a Spanish translation. So we're going to go create translation. Okay. Um, and on here you can see the English text is up top here. And, uh, you know, this, this will be the Spanish text. So if we, we're invited to either type in some text, type some text, okay, or just do a, click on this and do a Google machine translation. So... Uh, estos son algunos ejemplos de cómo el robo de teléfonos celulares puede afectar su vida. That's a pretty pretty good translation. Um, so we're going to add that. Okay. Now, now, just a point to note here: you don't necessarily have to speak any of these languages. The idea of this system is so that you know the the, the, the client can just log in, create some text create a very very quick rough machine translation and then get a proofreader to correct it. So what that does is that saves a lot of money um, in terms of having th having things translated from the source. So we're going to do the, the German one now. Okay, machine translation. Look, I don't speak any German. It looks okay to me. I mean a German, a German person will probably look at that and go it makes no sense. But that's the whole point. You know, we would get a proofreader to, to have a quick read of that afterwards. So we just do the same for all the other ones as well. Italian. So you can see how easy it is uh, to very, very quickly uh, put together some translations. Okay. So as we can see, you know, it's, it's bringing... It's, it's French. So let's try Russian because that's quite an odd language. And that's brought in all the Russian text. Again, I don't speak Russian. 
but that would you know it's that you know that's that's something that um, you know a proofreader would would have to look at. Okay, so we just go through and we make all the little translations in the different languages. Okay, we'll do the that was this the Portuguese um, and Polish. Okay, great, and there you have it. So that means that that pup that bit of that a bit of this that bit of English text or this bit of English text is now translated into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight languages. Um, you know, normally what a lot of websites would do is they would, um, you know, just perform uh, an on-the-fly translation. But of course, if you wanted, if you have some words in Spanish that are not being machine translated properly. Um, then you're always going to have the wrong translation, whereas the way that we're doing it, we're storing the translations in our database, so a proofreader can come along, edit, edit the text, and then that, that final translation will remain in the, in, in the client's database. Anyway, that's, that's kind of how, um, how the translation module works. It's a very, very brief overview, but as you can see, it works, you know, it's very, very quick, very efficient.